Guys, what is up? Charlie Pangas here. Welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to find any image online and create a vector out of it with the click of a button using Adobe Illustrator CC. One reason why you might want to vector a real image is because if you want to blow it up to any size you want without losing pixels, you would probably create a vector out of it because obviously vectors aren't pixel based. Now if you were to blow up a normal JPEG image, you will start losing quality since it is pixel based. So that's one benefit of doing this. So I'm in Illustrator now and I have my image already pulled up in Illustrator. Basically I created an artboard or I created a new document, pasted my photo that I found on unsplash.com and I'm ready to go now. So here's the image and basically all we're going to do is we're actually going to left click on the image selecting it. So we're going to see like a blue transform box around our image. And now what we want to do is we want to go up to image trace. That's the magic button here guys. Once you click that, it's going to actually do some loading and you're going to get something like this. It's going to be black and white, but this isn't what we want. So what I want to do is I want to go up to view and I want to go to this little image trace panel box here and it's going to pop up the image trace options right here and what we want to do is we actually want to go to mode and we want to change it to color because we want to work with colors we don't want the colors to be gone okay we don't want to create a threshold out of this we actually want to add that color back in so uh, we're going to let it process so this progress thing most likely will pop up for you unless you have an insanely fast computer then it might not pop up but for me it does pop up even though i have a brand new macbook pro yay for me and then once it's done it's going to look something like this and as you can see it did slightly change you can definitely tell the um, image looks a little bit maybe more cartoony in a way and that's simply because it did create a vector um, tracing of this image. It's important to note that you can actually change the amount of colors that you want to trace. So right now I'm choosing 30 colors, but we can go all the way down to two, which will drastically change the image and it will start losing detail. So um, I would keep it at 30 if I was you, unless you're wanting to print eight colors or less then you'd probably change it. But um, another thing we could do is we can go to advance and we can change the corners, the pass and the noise. It won't tweak the image too much unless you really drastically change those. And another thing that we can do is we can ignore white because what happens when we ignore white is it's going to take all the white in the image and it's literally going to ignore it. It's just going to get rid of it completely. So we're working with other colors instead. And this would be better if you're working on like a white shirt, you might want to ignore white. So the white shirt uh, shows through the design, but it's really up to you. Like I said, I don't know what you guys are doing. So now that we're finally done, all we have to do is hit the expand button right here. And then when it's done loading, you could save this image as a PDF an AI, a EPS, PDF, whatever you want. So there you have it guys with the click of a button and we created a vector out of a real life image. You guys can find any image online and go vector happy with it if you wanted to. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys love what you see today, be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and of course guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.